Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. It's Mary Jane. Let's talk about the challenge. Season 35, episode 1, The Final Reckoning. I mean, the vendettas are all vendettas. Like, here we go again with the challenge. I can't believe Kayla and Melissa lost out on a million dollars. Like, how stupid and how dumb do you have to be? Like, damn, Kayla, you should have walked away. You should have just been like, you know what? Okay, I'll talk to you. But was, but was Melissa being able to receive if Kayla actually was like, okay, let's have a conversation. Let's leave the room. It seems like, you know, Melissa and Kayla was just so amped up, you know? so amped up by everybody in the room and this usually happens to the rookies or to the younger people that's on a challenge where they get into an argument and everybody around them like soup them up make noises go ooh ah yay ho hey and then they continue to try to prove themselves so they don't look weak and they don't look and they don't look like they're scared and so they end up doing something that's so stupid. Like, damn, Kayla, I was rooting for you to do something good this season because last season you was terrible the way that you treated Kaylee and the way you threw her shit out downstairs and how you was like bullying her and telling her that nobody likes her, nobody wants to talk to her, and you know, all up in her business or whatever. So but you do have a you do have a reason to be mad at Melissa because she tried to break up your relationship, but your relationship is still together, so why you care? Why why are you worried? You still with your man or whatever. She, and, and this is part of the game. This is part of MTV. This is part of the media where the story keeps going. The reason why, you know, the challenge MTV still have you on and Melissa on because you guys have vendettas. You have a rivalry. And you guys tweet and do stuff so they can talk about it and whatever challenge that you're on. So it was like, damn, Kayla, I thought you grew. I thought you was going to be a lot smarter. You let Melissa take you out the game. And you pushed her first. You put your hands on her first and then she whipped your ass. She done hit you three times in the face because that's... That's what, you know, um, Kaylee said. And then also, you know, Kayla said that she got hit in the face too as well. So she got punched and like, damn, you know, and Melissa would whoop your ass. Only person I think Melissa can fight because she's an MMA, MMA fighter. Like she fights like cage fights. Like she's a fighter. Like she learned how to fight. Like she can fight. And so you pushed her and she just came back. And she started swinging on you. So it is what it is. They sent, now they're sending both of you guys home on the first day. And you're supposed to get a million dollars, man. Like, come on. Like your boyfriend's going to be disappointed and mad. And Melissa, I don't think she just really cares. She wants to be on TV. I don't know if Melissa was intoxicated or messed up, but I don't know if Kayla was actually was like, okay, Melissa, let's go out and talk. But Kayla was making it like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't got shit to say to you. You did this using that. Get out of my face or whatever. And it doesn't make no sense because you're going to be in this house and you you have, you have catch more bees with honey than you catch with vinegar. So you could have went out there and you could have had a conversation with her and talked to her and end that beef, squash that, and maybe would have had another ally. Like, it doesn't make any sense. And Melissa should have just walked away when Kayla said that she didn't want to talk to her. She should have just walked away. But Melissa was being amped up by everybody around. So now you two done went home. And there it is. Like, damn, Kayla got her ass. But you know damn well Kayla can't fight. She's good at contending. She's good at being, you know, a challenger, comp competitor. But she can't fight. Melissa can fight. Only person that probably can beat Melissa's ass is Cam. So, move... Or, and, um, Kara. <laughs> so, moving on, let's get to the challenge. So, basically, you have all the challenge players that are out there talking to TJ, but, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna be fighting, they're gonna be partnering with their vendetta, people that they hate, people they can't stand, like, shit, a million dollars, we gonna be best friends, we gonna do this, we gonna have this, like, a million dollars, and I, if I'm in shape, you know, if I was in shape like them and ready to do all them challenges, like, shit, ain't no vendetta, nobody on the show, they, you guys ain't killed me, you ain't beat my ass, you ain't do nothing like that, so, we really don't have no vendetta. Come on. Like, I can understand we did some, like, steal your stuff, steal your furniture, steal your house, steal your car, you know, steal your, your credit report. I mean, steal your credit, steal your identity. Then you have real beef. Or they beat up your mom or your sister. You guys don't got real beef. Yo, get this money, son. Get this money. So, moving on. So, now we have, you know... The regular challenger people have to run down there and dig out their partner. Like, I would never be laying down in no grave. You know, they're buried in the ground. Like, oh, no, I could never do that challenge. You guys are so brave to be buried alive because that would not happen. I, I could not do it. There's no way. <laughs> that shit was scary. You got to dig them out. So here comes the partner. So now the teammates, the they got to go down there and dig out their vendetta. Like, yo, that shit was crazy being buried in the ground. So it was a good start to the first season. I mean, I mean, to the first episode. So we have, so whoever gets their partner out is cool. But if you're the last two, um, 
if you're the last two competitors, last two groups, and if you don't, if you're the last ones, you automatically get sent home. But you don't get sent home because there's a redemption house, redemption house. But I wonder how they're going to do the redemption this year. I hope it's going to be different than last year, like more than two people come back. At least three could come back into the game, you know. That's what I would hope. But we'll see what happens. And so we got the first. Amanda and Zach are partners, and they cannot stand each other because Amanda tried to, you know, break up. Or try to make, you know, Zach mad at, you know, um, Jenna and make Jenna upset and try to break up their relationship. Remember that episode? That, that season, Jenna just cried her ass off and then Zach ended up going home or whatever went like that. So they're partners and he's not too happy about it. But like I said, it's not real beef. And so then we got Jen Jenna... Jenna and J Zach are dating again. They back together. And Jenna, she got her man. She been wanting Zach since the beginning of time. She mess. She wanted Zach. She got Zach, and now they're in a relationship, and they tying each other down. Now she's ready to get married. She's trying to talk him into marriage. I was like, go, girl. That's what you want. Maybe Zach has changed because he is a chauvinist pig, and he thinks that women should be barefooted in the kitchen. They really don't have an opinion. They're really not smart. So hopefully he treats Jen differently. <laughs> So moving on, then we got Shane and Nelson. They are partners, and you know Shane did Nelson wrong, double teamed him, and did the fake out on him where you know Nelson had to go up against Corey, and that shit was you know terrible because Shane and Nelson had to team up to go against Corey or whatever. But you know Shane did the okie doke, <laughs> and so you know Shane's a troublemaker. He's a good contender, but he's not good when it comes to comeback. When it comes to one on one comeback and like heavy stuff, Shane is weak. Endurance, Shane is weak. So. I think that's just my opinion. And then when, then when you know, so um, Shane and Nelson are number two um, groups, partners that actually, you know, they are safe. They're going to be in the show or whatever. And Shane got his butt showing to Nelson. But I think they can actually get along. But Shane is already being shady and acting stupid and dumb. And we got Natalie. Natalie's back, you know what I mean? And she got beef with, you know, Bananas. And she got beef with Kaylee because Kaylee done hooked up with Bananas and she unfollowed them. And so now Natalie got her partner Paul, I don't know who the hell he is. I don't give a shit about all these new people. I wish they had the old challengers people. Like, before they get too old and they can't compete in challenges, I think they should have them. And then later on, bring, bring it, bring in, like, two or three new people. And then get some old people that we haven't seen in a long time that we missed that are fan favorites from back in the day. Like, what's up? Before they, you know, get too old. So, Natalie is with Paul. They're number three. And then we got Cam and Melissa. You know, Cam and Melissa was almost going to fight last season, but then they didn't fight. And, they, and they're getting over their bullshit. Then their, their, their um, team number four. And then we got Kara. Um, Kara. Kara and Marie are actually partners now. And, you know, they got beef from Down Under and, you know, beef from Kyle, Kyle this and that. And Kyle done did the okie doke on, you know, um, Kara. Kara, you know, she chose, you know, Kyle over, you know, Leroy last, last, last season and for Kyle because she was sleeping with him and he was dicking her up and down. And she chose him over, over, she chose Kyle over her friendship, her real friendship, her real boy, her real people over some guy she was having sex with that keeps disrespecting her saying that he don't like her she looks like a man she's not his type he hooked up with everybody else he tried to hook up with everybody else on that season and he dissed her at the reunion too as well and she still wants him she still wants to be with him she still want to make it work and Kyle went to Boston to go visit Kara and um after that, he went to Thailand, and he he hasn't talked to her since. And Kyra still wants to be with him. Kyra got low self-esteem, like word life. She might be a good contender, a good player, but she just doesn't make good choices when it comes to men. And she's desperate, and she's insecure, and she needs counseling for that because, damn, like, how can you how can you play yourself like that on TV? Like, shit, do the shit in privately. And whoever follows you should to tell you to get some help with your low self-esteem. God damn. So... Moving on from that, so she, so she's number fifth, and Marie, Marie is not a partner you really want, cause you, you know, you can't trust Marie. Marie's going to be stabbing Kara all in the back <laughs> off the season. She's gonna try everything to sabotage Kara because Marie don't re really care if she wins. Marie never cares if she wins the money. So moving on from that, we got Sylvia. Sylvia, I like Sylvia. Sylvia was she on um, Vendetta. She did it. She was good, but she got sick and she had to sent, got sent home. So Sylvia and Gosh, they got beef because he chose. Sylvia 
Sylvia over, you know, Brad, you know, because he was scared to choose Brad because he was afraid and he wanted to go with the boys when Sylvia was his girl. So now they are partners, but it ain't real beef. So like they can they can get over this. They come in second place. We got Kayla and Kaylee. They come in eighth place. They don't like each other because of the rumors, just because of everything. And, you know, Kayla threw all her furniture, I mean, all her clothes and shit and tried to get everybody against her. So they came in eighth place. We got Kyle and Brad. They came in ninth place. We got Veronica and CT came in tenth place. Kyle and Brad, I think they're a good team. I think on the reunion they forgave each other, but I think Brad is more mature and Kyle is mature enough to win. So I think they're gonna do good or whatever. I don't think that they're gonna have that much of a problem trying to sabotage each other, but we'll see. And then we have Veronica and CT. Poor CT got this. Got this. You know spare tire this broken down truck this liar this you know uh, manipulating not good at all and any type of physical endurance but she's good at puzzles and she's good at memory and things like that but she, and but she can also kind of be good at combat it all depends but she broke her ankle last season against you know um what's her name so it's just like <laughs> So he, CT got Veronica. I know he's just so pissed because she would sabotage her whole team and she has sabotaged everybody just to prove a point last the season. Last season, So she's not really a good person to have, but she's good at manipulating people and having people listen to her. Um, if you know, So we have Bree. Bree's back and her and Brad are still together. They really love each other. I'm like, oh shit. Oh no. Oh, there they go. So Brad and Bree. So Bree and her ex-boyfriend Chuck is there. So Bree got her ex-boyfriend there and her current boyfriend there. Who knows? who the hell Chuck is and that's Jose and uh, whoever them people are so anyways so these are the people that made it so the last two that did not make it was Jenna Jenna and Bree did not make it you know what I mean and so they did not make it they was the last people so Bree is actually go is supposed to be going to go home but she's going to the redemption house Jen is going to the redemption house too as well and then TJ says to you know Zach and you know his partner Veronica I mean Amanda to make a decision who goes home another team to go home and it was Jose Jose and Devon well, I don't know. That, I don't know how to pronounce their names. What do you want me to do? So <laughs> them two, they picked them because they feel like it was a safe bet. If I was them, I would have picked Gosh to go home. I would have picked Brad team to go home. Um, but you know, it would have been a vendetta against them, but having them strong players come back and I was as a possibility, but I would have got rid of them because you could possibly get father and then, you know, get some safety and you know, you can't be voted in. So them three, so them three teams are going to go to the redemption house. The other castmates do not know that there's a redemption house, but they should know. So now it's done. And then they find Johnny Bananas is still on the ground. Johnny Bananas partner did not show up. So right now Johnny Banana don't ha Johnny Bananas doesn't have a a partner right now. I hope his partner is Sarah. I swear I hope it's Sarah. Um, it'll be so great. I'm so I'm so sad that Leroy's not on this season. Where is Leroy? Where's my boy Leroy? Where is Darrell? Where is the other Derek? Where, like, come on, where 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 my dudes at? Where my dogs at? Where my dogs at? So, anyways, they not there. So now everybody's getting ready to go to the house. They're picking their rooms and things like that. And it's some girl from Bad Girls Club. Her name is Angela or uh, uh, Angela, or whatever. I've never seen her on Black Bad Girls Club. People are talking about her plastic surgery. Like her face is, she got so much fillers. Her face is just all messed up. So she ends up getting into it with Sean. You know, Sean always getting into it with the girls somehow fighting over closets. But you know, when you get into arguments and you fight like that in the house on the first night, usually you get sent home the next day. So we have that situation going down. And then we have, um, um, what's her name? Devon. No, her name is not Devon. Faith. We got Faith. Faith is, I don't even, Faith is in the house. <laughs> I didn't even say Faith's name up there. But anyways, the people that I made in the house is inside the slideshow. So Faith is, she's there and, you know, she ends up hooking up with Kyle. And I was like, oh shit, Faith and Kyle hooked up when, you know, um, Kyra was begging for Kyle back and everything. And Bananas was like, you guys are either going to squash and going to squash other people. And so, you know, 
Kara is like, I really want him. I want to give him another shot. He's just not really feeling that. Less than five minutes, you know, Kyle hooks up with Faith. They all kiss him, making out. I was just like, damn. I don't even know who Faith partner is, but I think it's in the slideshow. So, and we got some guy named Paulie. I don't know who Paulie is or whatever. But then that's when Kyle Marie tried to go after Paulie and try to mess around with him. He has a girlfriend. He's trying to stay faithful. I think he's from Big Brother. And Kyra's trying to make, you know, Kyle jealous because he kissed, you know, Faith. So now we know Kyra's going to be coming after Faith. And she's already messing up her game plan right now. She's not even being focused because she's focused on the drama with Kyle, which doesn't make any sense at all. And so Kyle was like, oh, yeah, she is kind of like making me jealous or whatever. But he don't really care. He's only playing for the cameras. And plus, Kyle got hair plugs. Do Kyle got false teeth too as well? Because his teeth look false. False. So, anyways, they got their thing going on. And so, you know, the dude Paul, Paulie or whatever his name is, he doesn't really want to mess around with Kara or whatever because he has a wife or a girlfriend at home. But we find out that they might sleep together later on in the season. So I was like, damn, and you got Kyle. He done hooked up with Faith. And, I, you know, when you hook up with somebody, it's kind of bad because if they do something wrong, you become the target. And then, you know, Johnny Bananas and, you know, Derek, I think his name is Derek, they end up seeing Kyle kiss, you know, Faith, and they let Kyra know, and they blew up the spot. I was like, damn. Then Kyra's acting like a little kid. Like, she's so immature. Like, why would she go run and try to get somebody to make him jealous? Like, yo, focus on your game. Like, that's a little childish. Like, you know, you should sit down and realize that, okay maybe this guy is not for me he don't like me so moving on from that <laughs> i was like damn like that is so crazy so they kiss they make out or whatever so then we have you know um bananas think that tony might be his partner that's coming in because bananas doesn't have a partner at all i'm just like oh my goodness and so then we get Ka we get um kayla and and, and and um we get Kayla and Melissa and basically Melissa is trying to talk to Kay to to Kayla. Kayla doesn't want to hear it because you know Kaylee and you know and um <laughs> Kaylee <laughs> Kaylee was talking to Kayla and was just like you know trying to you know be partners because they're both partners is trying to mend their relationship and trying to say hey I didn't try to break the relationship this and that then Melissa hears the conversation and she wants to talk to Kayla and Kayla was like I don't want to talk to you I ain't got time for you blase in the third I want to hear you everyone's like woo ha ha and then uh, then Melissa was getting closer and closer to Kay Kaylee's, Kayla's face because Kayla was talking shit too as well and then People should have just removed Melissa, but Melissa is doing this shit for TV. She don't give a shit about the money. And so, and Kayla sitting there acting all big and bad like she's the queen of the house. And I was like, I wonder if Kayla's going to act that way when Jenna comes back in the house. Because, you know, they kind of like was best friends. But we'll see what happens. So, that, but Kai, but, you know, isn't Zach and Kayla cool? So we'll see. Oh, was they not cool? So anyways, moving on from that, um, they get into it. Kayla pushes Melissa. Melissa just started just going boom, 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 left, right, left, right in the face. Kayla's face look all messed up. She looks like she's been drinking all night. She looks like she's been laying on the street. She looks like she drowned and shit like that. And she gets up in the morning. She's complaining about, this girl hit me. She hit me in my face. I can't believe that she attacked me. And she's telling Sean that. The banana was like, yo, shut the hell up. No one ain't want to hear what you got to talk about. You was down with that. You know, you you know, you know, was down in that. You was with it. You know what I mean? You was aggravating the situation too as well. You was too as well like stop playing victim nobody want to hear it Kayla's like shut up bananas mind your business and the bananas in this confessional like if she got hit in the lips she wouldn't feel it because she got all that Botox in her lips I was just like damn all these girls got a lot of work done like damn you are going to be competing and craziness why get work done like shit what to I don't know so anyways it goes down and Melissa beats Kayla's ass and so Kaylee should be happy that Melissa beat her ass and Kaylee don't fuck with Melissa these guys need to leave Melissa alone because she can fight but you know she's got she got eliminated because tj came to the house and tj said fighting is totally unacceptable you guys gotta get the f out so kaylee i mean so um melissa and kayla are gone scratch they're out the house and so now that leaves their partners which is you know um killer cam killer cam's in the house Cam Roy, so Cam's in the house, so it's Cam and Kaylee. Now they don't have partners. I don't know if they're gonna team up 
or they're going to bring new people in or they're going to send them home. I believe they're either going to team up or they're going to send new people in because that's just really not fair to them, especially when they have partners. So we, we see that this shit's going to be live, even though I don't like all these new characters, but we'll see what happens. I just really wanted the old school people to all come back before they get too old, but we're going to see what happens. I go my boy Nelson. Nelson's in the building. We'll see. Nelson has grown a lot. He's became a lot more mature. We don't see Corey. Corey was like, he probably won't be doing a challenge no more because it was so unfair to him on Vendettas and how they portrayed him. So I don't know. And he spoke out about it on IG. So anyways, peace. I'm out. One love.